Hey YouTube, this is Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. Today we're going to be putting together our brand new brick and flame wood fired oven. And we're going to show you step by step everything that's included. Let's get started. Here's what's included in your DIY oven kit. We've got some insulation board. We've got your refractory panels, front, back, sides, and top. We've got fire brick with your mortar, your Z brackets with some hardware. We've got 25 feet of insulation, foil backed. We've got your anchor plate with pipe connector, 36 inch stainless steel pipe, and stainless steel chimney cap. So here's some tools you're gonna need. Drill, drill bits, tape measure, knife, caulking gun, and some tin foil. First thing you need to do is you need to have a platform to build your pizza oven on. It has to be sturdy enough to hold a thousand pounds. This one is heavy gauge steel that we've welded and powder coated. We also have one at my home that we have built out of cinder block with rebar reinforced concrete for the top. So step one, placing the 27 by 27 inch insulating board. Now if your minimums are the 42, you're gonna have seven and a half inches on each side, and I would equal that on the back. You wanna have more room in the front, and remember you've got 11 more inches to the finished front for your pizza oven. Step two, we've got our back wall and our two side walls. These are 27 by 14 and a half inches high, we're just going to mortar along the bottom and up the back of this, the back wall. And then one more tool, a level, make sure it's level and allow this to set up. Step three and four, you saw our tin foil, and then fire brick over that. So the tin foil is important. It will reflect some of the radiant heat back up into the oven and away from your insulation board and your platform. The fire brick, very important, just to set those in there. And we wanna have little gaps. Any ashes will fall in, fill the gaps, and that's not a problem. Step five, we're gonna put the front piece on. So mortar down the front, over to one brick, and then mortar all the joints all the way around, inside and out, and really push it and fill in all the cracks with mortar. So now that we've got the front, back, sides mortared together, we want to give it a good hour to set up. So while we wait, we're going to mortar together some fire bricks that are going to go in the front, a six brick block on either side of the door. Step seven and eight, we place the Z brackets, two on either side. That holds the roof pieces in there while the mortar is drying. Step nine and 10, we've got our insulation board with 
the optional tin foil, four more fire brick. So remember the bottoms do not get mortared. And then we have our side pieces, our six brick block that we pre-mortared earlier. Two of those, and then this is the top piece for your anchor plate. Okay, we've also added these final two brick. They're two and three quarters thick, and these two front ones, I did mortar in all the way around. Step 11 and 12. We're gonna attach the pipe to the connector on the anchor plate, and then we will mortar the anchor plate to the top door opening. Step 13, we've got six pre-cut pieces of fire brick that fit inside the top of the anchor plate. We need to mortar those in place. Step 14, this is the final step before your finish. So we've got a cut list for you. Just lay the insulation over the top. It's pretty much gonna stay where you put it. Um, if it's not super tight, a little air space is fine. Air is a really good insulator. Now, we wanna double up the top and the back. Like I said, we have a cut list for you. Cut them that size, lay the pieces over, tape it together loosely, and it's gonna be perfect. So we finally finished our oven. We've decided to go with a white brick tile, gray stucco, and a black metal roof. I think it's very modern. You can finish this however you want. Whatever goes with your decor, you know, be creative and make something awesome. Final step guys, placement of your chimney cap. There's four screws. You wanna pre-drill with an eighth inch bit and the screws will go in nice and easy. Not a big deal, make sure it's nice and level and you're ready to burn. Here it is, the brick and flame wood fired oven. You can get your kit at Maple Mountain Fireplace. Be sure to Tag us in social media with your finished product. We want to see something awesome. So make it cool, make it your way, do your design, and thanks again so much.